Chuck is having a wonderful evening. Now he knows. Now he knows. Because <laughs> he can't get in. He locked himself. He can. Okay, so this is weird. Oh, how did he? Yeah. How did he do oh, that? Oh, nice, nice micro. micro on the <laughs> Look at Saving that. Them at the very last second. Oh, oh this is. A It's working, he didn't lose any, so oh, this is worse. Oh no, oh, he's, he's, going away. he's gonna run. Or he's gonna attack the bot. The spot is so oh, strong for tanks. I forgot all about that. But he doesn't have vision, he'll have to scan. I'm pretty sure. I think he has to scan to see it. Oh, he's got the okay. medevac. Never mind. Right. Most is here to save the day. Most likely. Oh, he forgets to repair the bunker of me. Oh, the pity. I think this is the point of no return. Yeah, he's going for a few roaches, and I'm popping on the main mineral line. Oh, that's, that's neat. You, that are you a wall? Uh, no, that looks like a wall that Paddy would do. Yes, which is 30 dot shot for his early, which is why. What is Wait, he doing? What? Is he getting really? in third base? Are you really? Really? Does he really go to be this greedy? Oh, oh, oh he yes. takes the third! I take the gold! Oh my god! Sound resumed. All right, we're live. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. So here we go. Mortal Kombat. Okay, shut up. It's the game heart by Ryan Shucker, right? Yep. Yep. Then I got. Got it. So who's up first? Alchemic versus Iron Tony. Um, yes. Well, Sneewy, the first game I saw from Alchemic, last time we were casters, uh, he was, he's really, yeah, it's actually the first time he's gonna play for yourself too, and, uh, but he did play another Clan War uh, not uh, long ago, and he went out yes. pretty strong, failed though in his offensive with the links, lost a lot of links, and fell way behind in his uh, macro, but yep. Yep. it's gonna be interesting to see how he's gonna handle this, uh, well, what do you think, Sneewy? Yeah, well, he's going up against another Sturk today, so I think definitely he will have another chance to prove himself that he can actually beat beat someone in the clan war. And I mean, we've seen him beat another pe other people, other races. I mean, he can definitely beat Sturk as well. I have no doubts in this guy, so I definitely think he will get another chance today. <coughs> and my voice is breaking up, sorry. Yeah, uh, but right. I think he will prove himself today worthy of this spot in ESL clan war. All right, all right. Um, yeah, it's uh, still up to, to a proof, you know, and um, let's just hope he's not going to go too defensively this time, you know, and backfires on him, because since he went so offensively last time and 
totally fail, unfortunately. I have to say it. Uh, it happens to yeah. everyone. But that this time you might go even more defensively, or what do you think? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I I hope and think that he will still play his own game. Um, yeah, I really hope hope that. And I mean, we'll just see. Let's just hope the pressure won't get to me. First ESL clan war for Akamek. Hoorah! Going up against Iron Tony. Do you know anything about him, Snowy? Uh, only that, that he's a third hurt. player, and uh, I mean, <clears throat> he has uh, a pretty nice win ratio on the ladder. It's uh, w let's see actually, uh, compared to players. If you check out our Alchemic, and we will see. So, uh, Iron Tony got in CVC 53% win ratio. I think that's similar to yeah. Akamik, he got like 48 or something, I think. Well, Akamik, I don't know if I should call this pretty... Uh, a little bit uh, slow on the ladder. He's only got 40 games. 23 wins, so it's more than 50% though, so he's more like a oh. mid-diamond player. But... Yeah, everyone is ready now, so we're loading into the first game. It's gonna be merry-go-round here at CVC. Uh, as last week, or the last clan war, actually. And, um, well... This map is really weird for CVCs because sometimes you you can rush and I mean it's so much randomness where you spawn so it will be really hard to scout this. I mean if someone goes cheese and you are going defensively or trying to go economic, there's still three bases uh, and two where the other player spawns of course. So I mean it's all about having a bit of luck there with the scouting. Well on the other side too, that this map is built for uh, three persons pretty much. That's this is a three map. Uh... Uh, 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 three person map and uh, I mean yeah it there's a lot of places to spawn uh, I mean expand on that's what I want to say and it, this could turn out to be a really long game too yeah yeah oh, I I'm... totally forgot that we're following my camp so we should maybe start with the introduction to that on the top right corner which they, the other guy don't know is Alchemy playing as Erg and Sniri yeah, <clears throat> his opponent coming our, as our guest today, it is ESL Clan War. It's gonna be Azure Wolf's Iron Tony, the other Zerg in the bottom position. And it seems actually like both players scouting to the correct position right away, so that's really oh fortunate yeah. for both players. So it will be really hard to do something sneaky now. Yep. yep. So, what do you think? At first, um, full first, fourth, fourteen. On this map, I, I definitely think both players will go pool first, even though uh, they scout each other's position right away. Yes, to be safe. I mean, it's it's pretty big. It's pretty far uh, from one base to another, even though it's even though they spawned like. Well, it's equal spawn anywhere you go, but I mean, it's pretty far anyway. <laughs> I do not oh, know yeah. how to save myself from this. Oh. Well, we got a pull first from Alchemic though, that's for sure. And we got a hatch first from Iron Tony. This is gonna be really interesting to see how Iron Tony is gonna yep. react to this. I mean, if Alchemic is going one base all in, it's gonna be a little tough for Iron Tony to. No, he's going with the on. expand now, so. And uh, Iron Tony is going to see this with his Overlord. He was uh, fortunate enough to send it to the correct side of the map. So he's going to see this. The yep. hatch is down though for Alchemic, but still, pull is up. He could still go very aggressively so early. One thing to mention though, Alchemic is actually in favor here of the terms of, uh, of the spawn locations because his Overlord will arrive much faster and uh, see the natural of Iron Tony whilst uh, Iron Tony has to go into the main base first and cannot scout the natural. And that oh, gives definitely. actually Alchemic yeah. an, an, uh, a... Uh, well, it makes him ahead in a bit, because he can see the timing of the natural and know for a fact it was hatchery first. That was what I planned to say there, but it was pretty hard. <laughs> oh, As English is not my first language, I mean, we all struggle sometimes. Yeah, well, it's not my first language either, but if you want to, I can turn this to Swedish. 
let's not do that. Let's not go there. No, let's do that. Let's stay, stick with English. Yeah, that's a no go, I guess. <laughs> However, anyway. we got speed coming up from Alchemic. We got yeah, both players, speed actually. coming up from both. Yeah. Both going and up into Queens right away. So pretty much same thing going here. We got two things yeah. coming from Iron Tony. But In terms of queen, workers and harvest, it's pretty, it's pretty much the same. I mean, Iron Tony is a bit ahead, he's two works ahead at moments. Other than that, it's pretty similar. And I mean, yeah. now, now Alchemy goes ahead. He's gonna lose ahead. the drone. Oh, is he? Or is it just, I don't know. No, he's not. He's just running around no. scouting. Yeah, he's scouting the bailing nest though, so that's pretty crucial. Oh yeah, definitely. And occasionally, I don't press escape, so I kind of, you know, block a little bit of a new view. So sorry for that, guys. And lady or ladies. <laughs> Machines? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe that's maybe you well, in as well. Mm. Maybe, Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> anyway, both plays if you to go for the safe expand into Baneling Nest and... Yeah, we'll probably see a link back and forth battle here. Both players have a great uh, setup of overlords spread around the map. Uh, and yeah, I mean, now we just oh. wait, kind of. Alchemic yeah. has the Selenaga Tower, though, so that's that's uh, some advantage. Oh, Let's see about this. Going for the overlord, the queen is out. Well, he's got two links up, but he's gonna scout everything he's got. Yep. He's even scouting the second gas that I've taken. Oh, and yeah. And the third and fourth, I didn't... not sh sure he saw that, actually. Yeah, he saw that. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, Here he comes knows. the pu first push. Yep. And as you make is up, not even pulling his... This. Uh, Has he seen this? this he's, out. he's got overlords on the way, but yeah. he's still not doing anything. He's oh, now the... great failing bus there. Ooh. Wow. Oh, yeah, Killing definitely. Killing like 15 links. I mean, wow. That was oh, yeah, but he's losing his queen. Three links getting away. Too late. At least he lost this, the, the queen. Which is not good, of course. But he killed a lot with the bailing yep. bus. And... Oh, look at this. Oh, the bailing's going in. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a lot 14. Of going out. 14 work is going down there. That was really that is a hard hit. And... Iron Tony is reinforcing and yeah. Alchemy is in a little bit of trouble right now. I mean, it's not too bad though, because Iron Tony is still only ahead of four workers because he's been spanning out so many links. So losing all these 14 is not too bad. I mean, he managed to uh, hold off. And but he lost a lot of drones there, and the differences right now is quite big. And Iron Tony is just keep reproducing bay links and links while Alchemy yeah. actually has to come back with his workers, you know. He I mean, it's not to... too bad. Alchemy is actually ahead of workers now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course he's uh, in forward workers right now because he's been going a little more greedy than Iron Tony has, but yeah. it yeah. cost him a lot. Well, not too bad. I mean, he's he still managed to hold off. He's uh, he's uh, behind in terms of uh, resources, of course. Oh, and they're losing one bailing to a lot to only one link. That's that's not too good as. Oh, but here two bailings. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's three workers only. I mean, workers, that's not too yeah. bad. Yeah, not too bad. bad. But uh, definitely want to make Iron more Tom paintings. Iron Tony is keeping the offense right now. We're not seeing much offensively from Alchemy. So yeah, now Iron Tony. fingers crossed. Way ahead. I mean, there's almost Going nine up workers on the third, ahead. Yeah, almost ten. And this is what I meant by keeping the offense. You're not allowing Alchemic to do any kind of damage on Iron Tony whatsoever. Yeah, he can just drone safely back home. Oh, so many Definitely. links being reinforced now. In the middle of the map here is 40 links already. Yeah, I see that. But and I mean, a lot of bailings, bailings, they can really too. do a they got difference. Speed we saw too, that. I guess. No, we it's saw that when they went up speed. the is ramp. Is he getting it? No speed yet. For the bailings. For bailings, no. Oh, Alchemic actually going up to Spire here. Four muted is going out. That's oh, a nice yeah. change. That's a really nice That's, change. I mean, he went up yeah. on, on four gases. If he can so, hold the ground against the links and bailings, then definitely this could be a game changer. Yep. We see no spire yet from the hive yeah. is going up. Now. Oh, although Iron Tony is going with the spore cross there, he's putting them down very blindly. He's being very suspiciously, but uh, a little too suspiciously. Yeah, my English is not my language either. 
I wonder though how come he put down the spore crawlers because he did not scout it. Although they're out now and cleaning up some nice overlords there, some free overlords. Uh, just so you know, for some reason everything turned green and red for me, and I can't control my keyboard anymore. That's really weird. So maybe Maximus should sh uh, change to my screen then. Oh, I have the bane no is here. Idea. Oh, look I at see all what's banies. happening, but everything is red or green. Some nice bane hits going on here. Yeah. Well, you'd have to excuse us if there's some lane interference within how the display is being shown right now, but I can't see anything right now. I can't use my keyboard. I really like this change up from Alchemic. He's going mass muta now. I hope, at least. Yeah. Well, right. this muta turnaround was. I think it's <laughs> gonna be really efficient. Uh, Let's hope also, so. Also, I can only see what the Alchemic sees right now, so I don't think I'm gonna do much to use right now. Yeah. Hydralis Dan is being put down for Iron Tone here, so. But he has uh, a lot of links here, Alchemic, not doing anything at all. I mean, he should really rally them to the third base as well. Make the main links or something, at least do something. Oh, here we go. Not oh, Enduring Locust. Again. Enduring Locust is gonna go with Swarm Hosts. It's gonna be Swarm Host game. Oh, wow, this can really turn oh, yeah. into a long one. Uh, yeah. And I'm back now. Yeah, but I'm back now if you 52 know. workers versus 59, so... Oh, yeah. In terms of that, Alchemic is behind. But you, yeah, definitely. And in mining too, as you see, the third one from Iron Tony yeah. is in full progress in the collecting. And there's no wall up though for either player. Yeah. There's no uh, wall. Oh shit! <laughs> my cam is so fast if I don't use it with like my um, arrow keys. Anyway, there's no wall off for either player. We can see that. So a link run by will really be easy. But those mutilists really doing their work here, picking off so many overlords. There's one to the north here, also, if he's not spotting that. Yeah. He decides to go in now, though. See if he can pick up some. any upgrades on Muras, but is he gonna get the Roach Warren? Or the Queen? That least? would be great. Oh, the at Queen. At least though. the Queen, yeah. At least the Queen. He's getting the Queen. No, no, no. One oh, shot. look at all these overlords there. No, oh, he did the not Hydralisks. get the Queen. One shot away from getting the Queen. Yeah, the Hydralisks. Yeah, is he gonna get them? Because uh, he should really pull back yeah. now. I mean, there's so much reinforcement here. It's gonna be Roach Hydra versus Mutalisks. But the swarm hosts are out. Is eight swarm hosts as his base? And, and they Alchemy will really is supply block by losing that overseer. Yeah. yeah oh, this oh, but the swarm hosts though. Yeah, he's burning them down. All right. A bit of misplacement there, I feel, but well, you well, never know what this player has in mind. Let's hope Alchemy's got some moves under his sleeves. Yep. He's gonna need them. I should make supply block here again. Uh, as now is the Hydras picking up the overlords rather than the Mutalisks for yeah. Alchemy. So Iron Tony will probably and he's not seeing them with his, he's not in. seeing him with his uh, locusts. Yep. He's running the whole wrong direction. We should see them with his yeah. mutas now. Oh, now they come. Now they're coming. Yeah, but they're all dead. Yep. They're not gonna shoot anything. So that's a waste of time. Managed to land a few shots. Oh, but look, look at the ruling run by here. Oh, oh he yeah. will see that base though. That's really nice. Only pulled in a few. Oh, well, he definitely oh, needs wow. to stop that and he needs to deal some damage now because he's a little yeah. behind. He's pulling he back. Takes out the queen, cancels the fourth. Get some drones. Yeah, those ten really drones, nice I mean, not too coming. bad. What it's not he, too he, much. He oh, losing all the links now, back. though. Not sure why he's well, doing he, that. He split it in two and he kept some of them, though. Not quite sure why he didn't pull back there, but still, I mean, 10 drones for like 20 links, that's definitely worth it at this state of the game. Well, I think just try to buy some time right now, uh, yeah. while we're getting up with the uh, swarm hosts and uh, perhaps some more mutants <laughs> and bailing. Oh, and Alchemic is actually researching the centrifugal hooks here, the bailing speed. Well, there you go. Well, it's really going to be good versus the Hydralisk if, you go, if uh, Iron Tony decides to go for Mass Hydra. Well, Anton is still trying to get that fourth. Uh, he's moving out right now. Uh, 
I don't know what to think about it. I mean, he's he doesn't have any upgrades either. And Since roaches are armored units and hydras, you see light biological. Oh, and this so time he sends really swarm host to the correct. Let's see here if he can do some damage with this. I don't think he will be able to land more than like a handful of shots, actually. Well, oh, no, no, not too bad. Get him more roach. Free, a free roach. It's always accepted. Yep. Yeah, he's got a lot of bailing here. Oh, all yeah, these bailings. Look wow. at this. They were really helpful. Good... Yeah, he's well defended right now. And this he is what have... I tried to mean oh. with the alchemy. He tried to win some time. They had to get his third yeah. up and, uh, you know, just buy some time. I'll look at him taking out the drones there. Sorry for that. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. I mean, imagine with but that look push... But uh, look at them. He's not attacking yeah. with them. He's not doing anything. Oh, they're just standing. Wow. All right. Anyway, I mean, imagine if... If Alchemic went uh, around with the banelings up that ramp and behind the Iron Tony when he pushed into that choke there, when the swarm host actually were ahead of him, he could have the banelings behind. I mean, wow, that would be really devastating. I mean, I think almost all the Hydras would have fallen there. L look in Alchemic second. Oh, look at his first oh expansion. Iron Tony going in versus oh, the swarm host. He's got you never want to do he's that. Got to he dealt some damage, but he's. Iron Tone is felt behind now in uh, incoming right now because uh, Iron Tone is on two and a half phase while Alchemist is on three. Yep. Even though he's got the fourth up, he's not getting any Actually, I mean, from it Alchemist is only on two bases. Here comes the, the push. The, the Look at the Bane. Oh, the Bane is just moving over anything. Oh, he's going for the Hydra. Some Three's nice hits. Can really nice hits yeah. here. I mean, the Swarm was just going to wreck everything else. He done. No. Trying to do a last uh, climb where he was playing to, but he failed a little, little bit. With that link push, he actually got himself some time to get his third full working right now, protected by the swarm host. Yeah. So it's gonna be a really hot fire in Tony to push through. Looking there, at the resources lost, though, I third. mean, wow, that's 5,000 ahead in favor of oh, yeah. Alchemic. That's really nice. Indeed. And he's gonna try for last push here, Anthony, I think, but. Uh, well, oh, it's the links. Yeah, they're getting some free. Yeah, they're getting some free well. units. And here comes the roaches. I think it's definitely not. But Iron Tone is still zero though. zero upgraded. You know, without upgrade, it does a lot they of difference. Are. He doesn't even have an evolution pit. Oh wow, yeah, Mutilus is zero zero as well. Well, Iron Tony is zero zero, and Alchemic is zero zero. So here comes the Mutas. Let's see if he can take out the Hydras, which he is. Yeah, the mutes. Wow. Both of them is zero zero. Up there, you know. Gets the yeah, queen. Yeah, I mean, if the Alchemic would actually go for double upgrades there right now, the locust would be so much stronger. He could probably just end the game within a minute. Oh yeah, definitely. He's picking out the Hydras, but uh, he's reinforcing with them, Ryan Tony. Picked out a couple of uh, free mutas too. Seeing so many roaches there, I would just like re rally all my swarm hosts probably to be closer, probably around the Slanaga turrets. Oh, definitely. He's doing a great job right now. Here oh, here comes another lean run by here at the right part of the map. Oh, yeah. There we He's come probably going to try to see if there's uh, another base here, but it's not, so... I think we're seeing actually Alchemy's little scene move here, right here. He's harassing, harassing one place, and all of a sudden comes a lean, lean run back from the other corner. There's not enough Hydras to actually stop and the all these are just pounding the switch is too hard. The Hydras. Great Aspire being added on here as well for uh, Here's the so links. I mean, this will be probably Broodlords and Swarmhost. What do you do the to links stop are that? in, picking out the drones. Oh, he's getting a lot of drones here. Yeah, and it's GG! GG. Oh, oh, oh. Really wow. nice job by Alchemic. He, like, it's, uh, like I said, he bought himself the time to turn around to get enough Swarmhost to protect themselves, and there's the GG pretty much. Well, my coffee is done now. I'm gonna go get myself a cup and I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, I know. Yep, yep. <laughs> sure. Sound muted. Jack is having a wonderful evening. Now he knows. Now he knows. Because <laughs> he can't now get in. He loved himself.
He can. Okay, so this is weird. Oh, how did he? Yeah. How did he do oh, that? Oh, nice, nice micro on the health <laughs> Look at Saving that. Them at the very last second. Oh, oh this is. A It's working, he didn't lose any, so all this is worth Oh no, oh, he's, he's, gonna, away. he's gonna run. Or he's gonna attack the bot. The spot is so oh, strong for tanks. I forgot all about that. But he doesn't have vision, he'll have to scan. I'm pretty sure. I think he has to scan to see it. Oh he's got the medevac. Never mind. Most is here to save the day. Most likely. Oh, he forgets to repair the bunker of Louis. Oh, the baby. I think this is the point I'm going to return. Yeah, he's going for rookie roaches and I'm popping on the main mineral line. Oh, that's, that's neat. Cute. That's very good wall. Uh, no, that looks like a wall that Paddy would do. Yes, which is totally not shot for a Zerlix, which is why. What is Wait, he doing? What? Is Dude? he getting really? a third base? Are you really? Really? Does he really go to be this greedy? Oh, oh, oh he yes. takes a third! I think he oh takes a goal! Sound Is resumed. Yep. So, uh, it's gonna be TZ, definitely. And yeah. Do you know anything about Alchemic, how he is in TVC? I think well, he's pretty good. Well, generally, no. I, I can't say I know his player all the way. Yeah, right. But what I can say about Alchemic is that from what we've seen from this game and uh, Clan Wars, I mean, he's, he's very efficient against Bios. And it's going to be really interesting to see how he handles uh, Dracorb right now, who is a former Diamond. Yep, yep. And well, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see how he handled this one because he's been playing ZVZ all the time uh, during the few clan wars he actually played in. He hasn't played against another race yet, so now at least he's gonna meet the Terran. Let's see how he does. Sneery, aren't you a Terran? No. No, I'm a Zerg. Oh yeah, you're a Zerg. We should have like a Terran expert here right now because uh, Terran is my weakest <laughs> race in general. Yeah, we should put in the section here. His sectional line. Well, if we could get section in here, it would be awesome to get some like little, you know, words of advice about how Terran does it and stuff. Well, observe and tell you what you can see basically <laughs> or tell others what you can see I mean well it's always nice to have someone that knows Tyran who can come with the uh, you know the advices and ideas what the players are trying to do against each other how are they gonna counter each other etc so uh, it's always well, good to have a, someone who knows Tyran from the ground already since I played CVT a lot I mean I can probably see that Oh, all right. So we're gonna have a uh, well. At least he thinks he's Terran expert, but he's only diamond. So I mean, he's not that kind. <laughs> I'm pulling nah, it I'm down. It's so rare you actually Chicken see someone up. that's User left uh, channel. that's actually Terran diamond nowadays. Everyone User is Terran. Oi, oi, section. User joined your channel. Hello, Hello section. Thank you for taking the time to join us, Action. Uh, since we are two Zerg players here and we're not diamonds, unfortunately. I am normally a Grandmaster, but I'm losing too much. But it's always nice to have a good uh, turn player. Yeah. So, Section, what do you think? Alchemic versus a former diamond player? TVT. A former diamond player. For there we go. Zor Wolves. Let's see. Give us some words.
Tell us, Sekshan. Oh, what the I'm, uh, uh, I'm just uh, taking a quick look at his uh, build order for his uh, match history. Oh. Here we go. Alchemic ZVT. Uh, sorry for saying TVT. I meant ZVT. Yeah, loading into the second game is going to be a CVT on King Seon Station, which I feel is a, actually a Zerg favorite map since you can break the rocks back there and go into the back door. But oh, that can also be used by Terrans, of course, with tanks and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, Sekchan, what have you found out so far about uh, Dracorb? Not much. Uh, if he plays mech, it will be difficult to break on a map like this, because the goal for a mecking Terran is pretty much to say to a Zerg, you may expand freely as long as we can end up in the late game on the same number of bases and then build an invincible late game sky turn army and just win. Uh, you can do this on a map like this, you cannot do it on maps such as you know four player maps because it's ex extremely difficult but it can be doable here. Mm, All right we're we loading into the game here so in the top left position of King Seon Station it's gonna be Azure Wolf's Drac Orb, the terror yep, player. Yep. Right. His opponent, mm. if you Alchemic. please. Alchemic, Alchemic, as Zerg again. Yep. He won without actually, sorry to say, a bigger effort last game, but now he's playing against the Terran. First time in uh, Clan War. So, is the nurse gonna get to him? I don't think so. I think he's confident. Going, uh, going as a winner out of the first map this, uh, this time, uh, rather than losing. I think he has the confidence with him again and possibly can win both this and the next map. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, Section is the Terran expert here, at least in this chat room. So, uh, what do you think? What do you think uh, Drak Orb should do against Alchemy here? This will be 12-12 Reaper Expand. He will most likely make one or two Reapers, because if you want to make three Reapers, you will go 11-11. Uh, but this is 12-12, so he's gonna check around, maybe get a, try to get a drone kill or two, and then transition into some Hellions, take a third command center, some upgrades, and then bio. That's my prediction. Alright, there you go. That's pretty much like... how all Tyrants play these games. Unless he plays mech, then we will have something completely different and wicked cool. That's right. why I don't play Terran. And I think Alchemic will go 15 hatch, 16 pool, and 17 gas. Yeah, definitely. Barracks is done here. The hatch is half done. The Reaper is going to be up very soon. And he needs that pool to finish so he can get his queen up. First Reaper in production. Yep. Yeah. He's not going to get will. the queen up. He might lose a couple of drones with this. No, 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 no. He will just make one spore crawler and then cancel it. I mean, it will be uh, some micro, but not too bad. Well, let's see. I don't is think he'll right? lose anything at all. I mean, this is this is standard, all standard. I mean, this is not even a great uh, map for uh, reapers. No, reapers. it's not. Well, actually, it kind of is. If you move down to the Zerg base and a little bit more to the yeah. right and up. Can you actually jump up the double? Yes. No, you can. Oh, yes, you can. All right. Yeah, to the left. I mean, to the right in the Zerg base, you can jump in all right, and out. All right. So it makes um, a nice nifty escape. Right there, there, yeah. Right there. You can jump that. You can now jump out there. So. Okay. Links up. Now speed. The queen is almost done. He's getting some circling kills, I mean, not too bad. Yeah, but 50 still... minerals lost there, but yeah. it's not too bad. Rather some circling kills, and, and here comes the queen, so he will yeah. definitely hold this off. The Reaper won't do much good now, no. Alchemic, Overlord, got a vision, he sees, he's going for his CC now. The thing is, will he is see he the gonna third go for command third? center? Yep. Yeah, he but is he going to go for the base? Yeah. Oh, the Reaper gets should in, should automatically make Alchemic at least go for it. at least a third, and might even a fourth. Oh, will the Reaper die there? Does he know he can jump down? Yeah, he knows. Okay. Oh well. Speed, speed's half done. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Hellion. Yeah, Hellion. Yeah, Hellion. 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 Yeah, Hellion. It is. Uh, so well, I, I think he's not getting a lot uh, of gas. He's got one drone ga uh, drone and gas. For what reason? I have no idea. He's not gonna get, say, army of mutas by one drone. Yeah. Uh, one thing though, Alchemic actually forgot to produce one of the queens. He only has three so far, and he's going off on three bases. So he definitely wants more queens. How many queens does he have? Three, that's not yeah, enough. Yeah, three. Yeah, he needs at least four, but uh, hopefully five. Or, like, <laughs> preferably five, I mean. Oh, is this gonna be Roach? Hmm. Sorry there, for some uh, time there I lost once again. Control of anything, it went all black. Actually, it's but only two. You got a knight okay, switcher from Draco. More. Oh, that queen will definitely die. Oh yeah, queen is going down. The links aren't gonna last. This should be really interesting. He's got one queen there, bring in the other one. Yeah, oh. He's pulling one queen at a time, I mean, that's not gonna be enough. He definitely won't pull all the queens there if he's got. Oh, yeah. But I mean, there's no reason for him to fight out there on the. Uh, like, beyond the creep. Sure, he needs to hold his third base, but they didn't even went down there yet. Oh. Have to be careful here with the links. Two engineering base coming up, he's gonna get some updates for his units. Oh, he's he's not even getting one of the Hellions here. That's really yeah. unfortunate. Maybe time to throw up a spine crawler. Yeah. He's only on two guns. Because he's as not well, doing though. any good against the Hellions. He's he's just losing units against them. Yep. Oh he's taking the gases in at the third rather than in in his main. I think that's a mistake. Because they are more exposed, you definitely want to go with oh, the gas yeah, in the main there. It will be so hard to hold that. Well, with good creep spread and good overlord spread, but I mean, he has no overlords on the map other than uh, on the third base and the natural there. He definitely wants to put in some overlords on the high ledges, like for example here. Definitely want to put one there, and also on the other one uh, to the left there. Uh, Alton makes well, map vision right now is pretty bad. You want to move the overlords so they can have inter to intercept drops and whatnot to not pull you out of position. But right now, in uh, two minutes, like Taren is gonna begin to put on the aggression when one 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 completes with stim and combat shield. And right now, it looks tricky for Alchemic to repel that attack. Not even two minutes. Uh, Medivax is gonna begin. Uh, like right now, he's gonna land the starport on the reactor factory, I think, and begin to double pump Medivax immediately. Oh yeah, definitely. Yep. Uh, although we're seeing Alchemic still producing a lot of units right now, he might get. He's got his bailing, but uh, bailing messed up right now. Getting speed for the bailings. He's gonna come to the buy as well. Good. There's so yeah, much going on right now. Up. I mean, he's he's getting double upgrades too too. Uh, the bending speed is producing Spire. Two more We're getting bases. one one upgraded, by the way, from uh, the yeah. uh, Drock Orb. Yeah, it's gonna be a one one timing with the compact shield and stem. Well, this oh, might feel like it's the last well. game, you know. Alchemic started off very weak, turned it around, and just swallowed the whole game. Yeah, the Hits armor is coming Drac up. Orb. What is that for? I think could that be for uh, medevac uh, protection? No, it's for uh, it's for the two two upgrades and uh, to uh, transform Hellions into Hellbats to uh, okay. add some extra meat shield to the Terran army. That's the yeah, okay. main reason why you want to save your Hellions from the early game early game harass. So instead of going with just naked Marines with a mines, you will go with uh, six to eight Hellbats in front to take tank to tank the damage from uh, from the Baneling hits. The injects are. Not the best I've seen actually here. No, it certainly hasn't. They're not too bad, but I mean, 66 energy and one queen, that's a bit too high. So that's something you want to practice. And also, the other queen has 45, so definitely something you need to put the focus on in the future. 
Oh, well, he's finally getting that overlord that he's been scouted with. Yeah, he's oh, gone up Terran... on four bases, I mean. He got four base full saturation soon. Terran really needs to begin to two upgrades. He does that oh, now. Yeah, uh, he's yeah. gonna be one set of upgrades behind Zerg for a very long period of time. Uh, for almost two and a half minutes. That's pretty huge in this part of the game where Terran wants to attack, attack, attack. This is very good for Alchemic because he will be able to trade very effectively, even if off creep, in order to protect his fourth base. I really feel that Alchemic overdrawn here, but I mean, you gotta drop here, looking though. after the armor, the army but has. Alchemic reacting with it, it is really nice move by Alchemic. He did not get anything from that shot. Yeah. I mean, considering the army size of Alchemic, he can safely drone up like this, but I mean, I still feel he overdrone. Oh, PP? Game. Okay. Or pause, please, I mean. Who pause? So, well, just by looking at what we see right now, uh, I have a strong feeling that Alchemic is doing very good. Yeah, if Alchemic overdroned, uh, Terran is under SCB. He only has 57 at the 14 minute mark, and that's a little bit. Uh, he wants to have like 65 at least in order to be able to just put on the constant rally aggression that you want when 2 2 finishes. But his 2 2 is a bit late, so I guess that he wants to chill. And then attack. It's gonna be yeah. difficult though, because Alchemic is uh, getting maxed. He has a nice number of failing, 26 versus 49 Marines and 4 Winner Mines. More Winner I think mines. he has you a bit too few uh, Mutalisks though. Only 10 of them. That's not like what you want oh, to see. Fine, I think though. at least 15 to 20. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's gonna totally push fine. now. Is Dracorp going for the push now? Yeah, it's, it's only 3 Winner Mines though. Here comes the push though, and the circle this is moving in, not the bearing, is not burning the mine. This won't work. Uh, Terran will yeah. rebuild. We should go with the main first. Oh, Terran will be so crushed by oh, this. Oh, there you the go. There. Yeah. But the Widow Mine is still down, no. That's gonna be devastating. You didn't burn the Widow Mine. Wow. This is game over. That's gonna be a good game, this is yeah. G this is... This is... <laughs> GG, Alchemy. This is uh, double GG. <laughs> it's gonna be double GG, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a double GG and <laughs> double VP. <laughs> really Wow, that move he did where, not see like that. four minutes too late or something. The uh, funny thing is, we were kind of talking about Alchemic, you should spread your overlords a little more, and come to think about it, the other guy didn't even scout Alchemic. Yeah. And he just went all in without scouting. I mean, his drops were late, I think, because Alchemic was so greedy going up a four base full saturation rather than they only taking the gas on the fourth, so. Here, just let him alchemy going up and be so greedy and not punish him for anything. So that's kind of what cost him the game and also being a bit too late with the push there. Oh, definitely. But uh, I don't know. It was looking kind of, you know, even there for some time with the first push. He lost the queen, almost lost the second. Uh, I think he lost two queens there now. Alchemic. Alright, next map is gonna be on Overgrowth, and it's gonna be Sexa. And I'm actually not sure what kind of player that is, so we'll see. We're gonna get some inside information. We're gonna be a Protoss, alright! So Akvik will actually play versus all of the races here. That's nice for him. And uh, Sexa is a former Mathel player, one time. Um, the statistics of CVP is 56%. Oh, or 53 actually, 53 uh, percent. That's not too bad. I mean, it's still it's above master, average. Though. Yeah, it's been at one time. Uh, what Moise Liberty maybe? Uh, I have no idea actually. Hey, I just came to think about something. Oh yeah, section. Do you want to remain with us or and co-casting or casting? I was thinking about getting dinner, but you know. Well, you can only yeah, get dinner that. if you're gonna, you know, all of us have to eat then. Yeah, all of us have to eat then. <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I can provide you with bad jokes and chewing gums. Well, I just want to make a little announcement before the game starts. I just want to say to everyone a really, really 
Merry Christmas to everybody. If I don't see you anymore before Christmas, I hope everyone gets a really good Christmas. He might. No, right, we have a toilet break here coming out for six, so we're gonna have five minutes. Sound muted. Jack is having a wonderful evening. Now he knows. Now he knows. <laughs> he now get he in. Knows. He locked himself. He can. Okay, so this is weird. Oh, how did he? Yeah. How did he do that? Oh, oh nice, nice micro on the <laughs> Look at that. at the very last second. Oh, oh this is. Picking up the injured marine. <laughs> And it's working, he didn't lose any, so... Oh, this is worse. Oh no, oh, he's, he's going his way. He's gonna run! Or he's gonna attack the bot. This spot is so oh, strong for tanks. I forgot all about that. But he doesn't have vision, he'll have to scan. I'm pretty sure. I think he has to scan to see it. Oh, he's got the okay. medevac. Never mind. Uh, Most is here to save the day. Most likely. Or not. Oh, he forgets to repair the bomb with the Oh, the PV. I think this is the point of no return. Yeah, he's going for a few roaches and put them in the main mineral line. Oh, that's neat. you. That are you wall. Uh, no, that looks like a wall that Paddy would do. Yes, which is totally not shot for his early twitch. Why? What is Wait, he doing? What? Is Dude? he getting really? in third base? Are is you he... really? Really? Does he really go to be this greedy? Oh, oh, oh yes. he takes the third! He takes it! He oh takes the goal! Time soon, zoom. so we're probably gonna switch. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Dun, 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 Hello. Dun. No, I'm just not. Okay, so who's up next? Alchemist has been going really strong. He's... It's gonna be six, uh, the Protoss player. I can't oh, say he's going that... Terran. Oh, ZVT again? Does he have a sneaky build against Alchemy? He's been watching two games now, he knows how Alchemy does it. Okay, he's Terran. Um, Is he gonna go Banshee right. opener maybe? That okay, it seems really already, so let's load into the game. Load into the third game here, it's gonna be Overgrowth. And it's gonna be another CVT actually, not a CV Protoss. A CV Protoss, what? A Cygwis Protoss. Anyway. anyway. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, it's good we still have section here then, the expert commentator. Terran, mm. but before we get to section presenting the term, we're gonna introduce Alchemic in the top right corner, playing, as usual, a Zurich. Going really strong so far. And in the bottom left, guys? Yeah, he's his team actually, not him, but his team is down to matches now. It's gonna be a sure wolf 6 out uh, the Terran. Yep. Section. This is a Protoss player going for Terran. Oh, uh, this is just bound to be a disaster. It is that bad. No. Uh, it, no, it isn't. Uh, we can. You can pretty early see if a Terran knows his build, uh, depending on gas timings and whatnot, and when you add production, but. We shall see. It should probably be the same opening we saw in the previous game with 12-12 Reaper expand. All right. Because it's the best... Well, it's one of the better openings that you can do, unless you want a 2 Rex and just cheese Zerg, which is even better sometimes. Go ahead. 
Although I feel this map is even worse for Reaper. There's not a this... lot to jump in. Yeah, but Zerg is, is uh, like if you lose the Reaper, if you, on this map you would just make one Reaper. On a map like King's Edge on Station, you can make two because they can get away and you can harass more. But here you really can't. Um, so I would not be surprised to see um, our dear Sixa go for one Reaper and then Reactor, and just get the scouting information done. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but uh, Alchemic has seen everything so far. He sees that he's going for the gas. Barak is up, the wall is up. I mean, uh, yeah. it's gonna come a Reaper, and he's probably gonna wanna get that, those queens up quick. Yeah, he's gonna play as he did the last game, I think. It's gonna be 15, 16, 17, as, as you normally play against uh, Terran. So, nothing too weird going on here. I think he just wanted to check if the, with the drone if uh, Sixa was going to double rax him or something, since he's off raising. But he looks with the drone, see nothing she's going on, so he's probably feeling confident again. Yeah, Overlord is coming. He's gonna see the Reaper pop out. Yeah. So... He knows the Reaper. Oh, double coming. Reaper, actually. Look at that. Yeah. Alright. He definitely see that with the Overlord, though. Mac oh, uh, micro in it, so he knows that for sure. Yeah, pull is up. Let's see yeah. if he gets some links. Yeah, he's got two links coming up. Yeah, he's probably gonna get one more as soon as he get the Quinnet main, another Quinnet larva. Second. But the Reaper is there. Let's see if he can take out some workers. Uh, Reapers will have free reign for another one and for another two minutes, uh, approximate before speed finishes. Uh, they yeah. can do pretty much whatever they want. But after Oops. that time, uh, you need to be very careful. You don't want to lose the Reapers uh, unless you absolutely have to, I guess. Oh, well, the speed Reaper isn't being upgraded yet. Yeah, the, the Reaper is there. Some damage. He's the queen will uh, not killed pop. two links already. Yeah, the queen will not pop in the... too early, or I mean, in the right time to actually oh, yeah. do something. Yeah, the Reaper double, does, double Reaper but... though. They actually killed the queen. If not not micro. with that micro now. Not that micro. Yeah. Well, CC coming up from Sixa. He also got his factory up, going for Hellions. He's going for reactors. He's gonna pop out Hellions now. Probably four of them or six even. Yeah. A third queen coming up from Alchemic. Probably not six since he only got one gas. So it's queen not gonna be any down. weird uh, um, Hellbat switch or anything. It's gonna be as the, as the last game we saw, actually. It's gonna be greedy three ra uh, three command centers fast and... Yeah. I think Alchemic is actually... Confident. Well, speed is done now in seven seconds. So, yep. the Reapers won't do that much. Apparently I'm the only one. One thing though, Sixa has not moved that. down his uh, natural. I think that must be a mistake or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you, but uh, Mercy Sir, is... you're more, pretty much free to build the command center on the low ground, especially when you're opening two Reapers. Yeah. I mean, that's gotta be something wrong. <laughs> He's still the has expansion it there. isn't down yet, yeah. Getting all the support really now, but the third is down for Alchemic and going strong so far. Yeah, he's going Mining in with the overlord scene and everything as well. Yeah, here comes a little push from uh, Saxia though. But it's gonna be enough, I don't think so. No, no, definitely not. It's just to harass a bit. This is dangerous. Oh, the link. Almost gets Why did it pull back? Uh, wow, the queen okay. goes down, but he still got another queen there. It has Two queens actually, fight. even. There goes one hell. Oh. This will not be worth for Saxia losing everything on this. Yeah, he's losing everything on this. Yeah. Not even getting like 10 drone kills. And barely got any work there whatsoever. And the queen saw that. was there, definitely yeah. not worth it. Oh, really rallying really in good more. Job two more. Alchemy. Two more free Hellions going in there. That's gotta be a missed rally. Well, wow. this is looking really good, I must say. Alchemic is yeah. doing a great job, and he's 
going strong like he's done like all the two other games so yeah far. look at the worker count i mean 40 versus 24 wow oh yeah definitely this is, i think this isn't but because the command center just went down now and yeah. no nah, it's not gonna hold even even isn't with even the, today. all of these mules i mean the income is still three or four hundred even in favor of alchemix so yeah that was, was really bad losing all of these hellions for oh, free yeah. there the baiting list is coming up one one has been upgraded by Alchemic. He's going the same. You just bail in his lanes. Yeah, it's yeah. just a matter the is not question yet of time when the done, spire is up. Lair kind of just been started, so I feel that's a bit late, but yeah. he's still ahead. Doesn't really matter. Well, I think uh, Six of took some energy from uh, Alchemic there but with the Hellions and the uh, Reapers, so he wasted a little more minerals and income on, uh, you know, trying to. Pull that off yep. in defending it than he had to in the previous games. Yeah, and this guy again gonna be a tech lab on the on one of the barracks, so it's gonna be a stim and combat shield timing probably. But I mean that's way off time now, isn't it? Section. Yeah. It's no, it's uh, this is very very weak. Uh, he can attack now. He doesn't have yeah. medivacs just yet. He's gonna begin to make them now. But you wanna push. To clear creep when one one is completed, which is which should be around now with the three command center openings, such as this one, and uh, but instead he emphasized of making an army. Now the problem with this is if you don't go and make damage with the army that you created, you will by default fall behind and eventually lose the game. So yeah. this is the paradox. Yeah. And I think also he did something wrong now, Sixa. Uh, He's building a reactor on his uh, starport, whilst he already have one on the factory that he's not using. So it would be much more beneficial to just switch those around and saving another 30 seconds. So, oh yeah, yes. definitely. definitely. That, that was going out... macro as well. Yeah, he's not making Widow Mines nor uh, Hellions right now, so having an idle factory right now is not something that you want. Especially when you're gearing up to make a big push such as this one. And yeah, one already one... supply block as well. Wow, he can't even get the Magivax out yet. Dropping the scan sees the Spire, which is good, but it's, it is to be expected. So he now has a window of... Uh, a timing but window. I wonder if yeah. he knows that his main is not a hive. Or, no, he can't do that. Right. It's pretty standard to actually do it on the, uh, on the natural on overgrowth because it's just so much easier to defend that as Zerg since well, uh, it's closer to the now, third base. From what I see now, I wouldn't be surprised if he thinks that he doesn't have a hive. Well, he doesn't have a hive, he only has a lair. <laughs> so that, that's that. Oh, lair, I mean. Oh. Yeah. yeah, but that's still very standard. I mean, he probably just wanted to scout if there was something really weird going on in his main. Okay, I'm gonna call it right now. Terran loses this game. Yeah, yeah. probably. Uh, I mean, look at all these links and hydras. Uh, links and the uh, banelings, I mean. Like, <laughs> it's, what? it's pretty simple math. It's 30 yeah. banelings versus 48 marines and the reinforcements yeah. from Alchemy. And it's only one here. Here's this round. Here comes the GG. Yeah, GG. If not, then... Uh, Counterattack will kill him. Oh, if yeah, he yeah. counterattacks now, he will win. Yeah, look at this. Mutas will definitely chase them all. The medevac. No. Yeah, yeah. the counter attack should be coming right now. He should just move in. I mean, I mean he can reinforce this so center easily. also going down there. The Marines, he tries to fit them. That's pretty good, but not enough. It will not be enough, though. No, it's not. not it's, not, it's never going to be enough. He's going to get that fourth yeah. for free. All the SVs is going down. He's reinforcing with yeah. the all the time. The third will definitely die. Yeah, and it's gonna be a freeway for the new stuff to just move in, pick up all the workers and flying command centers. I wonder now, will this be an all kill for Alchemic? Oh, uh, this is uh, the pretty much the GG we just came across. Yeah, yeah, this, uh, is, yeah. Game this is game no, over. There is no, there is no return yeah. from this. Alchemic's force is already up and going. I mean, look at the Alchemic. income tab. Press I and look at the income tab. It's double for the third player. I mean, there's no going back oh, from yeah. there. Harvest is 82 to 46. I mean, that's a bit overdrawn, maybe, but I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter. But and there is a good. saying in StarCraft don't ever give up until the last building is down. <laughs> <laughs> never give up, annoying. never surrender. The only way that. Uh, like the Overlord. Sixer, that just went down. The only yeah. way that Sixer couldn't make a comeback 
if, if he was playing a really turtle mech style. But since he's playing bio, it's game over. How can I get supply block though? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't even have the third command center out now. He's just trying to place it again, but there's a link there with yeah. it for like another 20 seconds probably before he sees that, so... And Alchemic is on 5 bases, or I mean, 4 bases oh, and then macro hatch, so... He definitely got production back. Well, He's just waiting probably to get some more Meteorisk before he pushing in. Mm. Oh, what? Well, Maybe 6 harvested? Yeah. I mean, well, if Alchemic would move in now just for the bailings now, it would be GG, because, I mean... It's 100% Bayou here, there's no whatsoever macro on this, uh, he's 1-1 one, one upgraded. We got a 2-2 two, two upgrade by Halcomic, and he's on his, he's probably gonna take his fifth now on the gold. I don't understand what he's afraid of, like, Alchemic. Is he, why is he putting down so many spine crawls and stuff in his bases? Oh, wait, why not? the final push probably. As I always say, why not? Yeah, why not? Why actually, not? Why not? I like seriously. Why not? Here goes the final push. It's gonna be game ending in either way. Yeah. yeah. It's a and I mean, look at the supply I'm difference. Sorry, it's people. Need a supply. GGA, it's gonna be GG. Uh, yeah. We got to take the third game have, here. Yeah. Gonna make the score three zero. Oh, and there comes the GG. Um, I thought we wow. won over pretty much. That was a freeway. I'm sorry to say it, but it was. But GG, well played. Okay, well, some for some reason we can't see the armory countdown uh, following me, but we're gonna absolutely try our best to get that corrected. I don't even know what the armory countdown is. So yeah, three zero. Alchemic is doing really good. Yeah, I we wonder have to if give him a little this, this gonna be all, all kill. I think so. I think he actually feels very very confident to move into this last game here. Oh definitely. But uh, don't be too certain. They might have saved their best player to the last, you know? You never know. Yep. yep. But and, I still I think mean, Alchemic, Alchemic is so in all honor, he's been really down. good, but you never know what they can pull out, you know? Of course. You should never under underestimate. I mean, they can still get an all kill as well. Mesdames et messieurs, je vais prendre... No, I'm just joking. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the. I'm just gonna uh, make a little bit of yeah. coffee. I'll be right back. Probably gonna be Slayer. Yeah, it's gonna be Slayer. It's a diamond player who has not been masters yet. He's four times diamond. Uh, it's a Protoss, probably. So it says in the statistics anyway. Let's see. His. Protoss versus Zerg is 60%, so he's really, really strong versus Zergs. He's not good PvP though, 44%, so if we have a Protoss, Patty should definitely think to set in a Protoss versus him, if we lose the first game here. It's gonna be on Catalina, all right. So, section, you want to stay? Yeah, he's cancelled it. Not sure. Nope. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go and make some dinner. All right. I See can you in a few then. <laughs> I can remain in uh, this sorry, uh, I'm back. channel, but I won't be in game though. Okay, so I will kick you from the group then. Uh, oh, we are still live, alright. Um, well, their last player, potentially, uh, or actually it's gonna be the last player, uh, Slayer, he has some trouble with Blizzard or Battle.net or something, so he's trying to relog and just re-start re uh, oh. Starcraft. And we'll see if it works for him. 
That's all right. I can I can play against Arkham. Like I'll beat him pretty easy. So you know, <laughs> as a gold player, I'm the best. Of course. Okay, so he's in. Yep. No problems. Hoorah. Yeah, but we'll we'll see if he can start the game now. That's what's oh, the problem. Oh, he can. Positive thoughts. Yeah. So, for those who are not tall members and watching this stream, join tall if you want to have a good time playing StarCraft. Exactly. <laughs> That's all I can add to that. <laughs> yeah. So just visit our website www. or maybe another w. dot ta. dot net. <laughs> That's T A W. No. And for the rest of you, don't forget your in-house tournament games. If you have any questions or wonderings, turn to uh, Ben. Have anyone been elected by us? Come again? Have you accepted the game? Uh, well, yeah, it says waiting for party. Four out of five. Now we're in the lobby. Here we go. Nice. Like I said, don't forget to play in house tournament games and keep the lighting going. You mean me? Okie dokie. So, ZVP. Hmm. I would go all in, kind of rush. Or not. Am I alone now or is Sneewe here too? I am definitely here. So, enlighten us. Are you good at with Protoss? Yeah, I play actually both Protoss and Zerg, so I can probably yeah. see what's going on here. Uh, anyway, we're moving into the potential last map here. It's gonna be Catalina. It's gonna be a CVP, which we have not yet seen, so that's nice. So who's the Protoss? Okay, there's GG. We win. No, <laughs> something no. seems to be wrong here. Um, Let's reload. His hotkeys were messed up. Give one second, saying. just see what the problem is with Slayer, if he has some Battle.net issues or something, and... It was the... We'll try to figure it out as soon as possible. His hotkeys were so, Sneewee, messed up. Have you done your Christmas uh, shopping? No, I don't, do I don't do that. Oh, you don't do that? Nope. All right, sure, that works too. Sometimes I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to spend money. It's better to receive than to give. Yeah, I don't want to spend money to show my love. I rather do it in person. That's only kind of wrong. You better, uh, whatever. <laughs> Did it? I think it yeah, sounded it correctly. It's better to receive than to give. It's <laughs> wow! Well, it's better to show your love in in person rather than in stuff yeah. that's not doing anything at all. Now all right, we're left. is ready, so let's jump into the game now once again. Hey, exactly. We got nine, eight, seven. Again, I'm not gonna count down all the way. Slayer versus Alchemic. ZVP. One. Go. All right. Yep. Yeah. CVP. Catalina once again. Uh, mm -hmm. well, not once again, but we'll try it once again. Uh, we'll okay. see if it works better this time. You never know. Yeah, in sec exactly. Alright, All right. so Maybe. in the 5 o'clock position, I guess, uh, it's gonna be Slayer. He really needs to win this, or they're out of the clan war, or actually they're, they're lost, so to say. Uh, yeah, that's like 5 minutes over 5, we have Alchemic playing a Zerg again. Five minutes is he over gonna 12, pull this you off? Mean? Is he, yeah, five minutes over, no, five. I mean, if the short one is at the Protoss, yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless, yeah. at one o'clock, I'll make a Zerg. Is he gonna, yeah. is he gonna fail to the Protoss? Oh, look at this. It's an early scout here for, with the probe. But I wonder what, what this is. is. He gonna it's find probably out? because he's gonna scout both bases that he goes so early. Because this yeah, is we also got a drone scout map, and a overload scout from Alchemic too. Alchemic sent the overload to straight direction, but uh, yeah, you know, yeah. Hope of the work is, though, is going, going to the, the left. wrong way. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna matter though, but it's annoying. Yet yep. another APM. So. 
so. What would you think, Slayer, that I guess has been watching Alchemix game right now? What do you think he will open with? Well, I'm not sure what he's doing now, actually, because he's not yet put down a gate or a forge. So it's probably going to be Nexus first here as 15. Alright. Well, I know. Uh, the thing Start is, the game, if... but I'm... Yeah. So... It's going to be 16. We're breaking up there, I'm sorry. Pull first, Kamek. Into a yeah. 16. Uh, can hatch. hatch now. Yeah. I wonder if this will be gasless, though. I hope it's not. Because oh. then he can't punish the Nexus first in any way. There's going to be a forge after this, of course, to hold off anything, any potential links. Oh, definitely. Player. I think he will actually wanted to cancel that. Oh, section look from at that! Alchemy. Look at that! Will it be cannons? Look at that sneaky probe there by the natural. Oh, I know. He tried to cancel his uh, first first there uh, the hatch. All right. Kind of failed. I don't know. He doesn't seem to have control over his probe right now. It's just standing still. Now it's moving back home. Yeah, probably want to bring it back home. Yes. Forge is up. Oh, is coming up. The next is down. Alchemic, did, were he actually looking at that? No, he weren't. He saw the forge. He saw the forge when it was on the construction, I think. Yeah, but I mean, did he see the probe moving to the right there to his third base? Oh, I that don't think one so. I did not know. He will cancel the third then. But Alchemic has been really strong when he gets his second up and going. Yep. The third is more for late game for anything. So if there's a pylon there, he'll get it down pretty quick. But the probe is moving away. No pylon. Third. And there is his probe. It's kind of funny looking at the APM. It's been down at 20 almost for Alchemic and 120, and then it turns around. Slay go down to 50, and Alchemic up to 120. Yeah, that's probably yeah, the sneaker probably is back. The sneaker probably is back. So, a cybernetics co core here, with, of course, with the uh, Nexus first, is gonna be a bit later tech. We're gonna try to follow the sneaky probe until it Yeah, dies. definitely not gonna be a 4 gate. Uh, or a very, 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 very delayed search. <laughs> oh, yeah. The third is down, it's going up now for Alchemic. I predict, however, seeing this, it's gonna be Immortal Sentry, a two base push. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's even a, a sentry there in the, in the gateway being produced, as well as forged uh, ground weapons plus one. So, definitely gonna be mortals and sentries here, I think, or with a bunch of shard slots, probably. But we'll see. Just for the fun of it, this is water in the Starcraft world. Back to the game. <laughs> Speed is up, it's almost done in about. Two, okay, actually, two, two, one. four gate, three gates being added on. Uh, we're not seeing any robo now, so that's really weird. But look at Alchemist's uh, hatch. It's yep. 29 workers, no gas. Yeah, but that's because he's gonna pull everything to the third hatchery, and minerals scale better than. Oh, definitely. But the gas could have come up gas. a lot earlier there already, and mining already, if he just yep. focused on it. Nevertheless, we got three gate trees more coming down by Slayer. Sentry coming up. One armory. Have you seen a mothership? Oh yeah, there it is. Came up now. Yeah, here comes the robotics facility. Definitely gonna be some uh, kind of a sentry, sentry mortal, all in, probably. Um, well, Alchemic actually scout this. I'm not sure. Let's follow that overlord and see what he can actually no, see. No, he's not gonna see the robotics. He's not gonna see it. Oh, he actually I did. I don't think so. He did? He saw it. Yep, he saw it. Are you sure? Maybe he's not I'm definitely it. sure. I'm sure. Alright. Well, Alchemic is at 3 base right now. He can get up a lot of units at once. He's getting yeah, the Now he's definitely warren. seen it though. With one, other one, uh, evolution. Yeah. Now is the time for Alchemic to actually start producing units. And Do you see that? Already he's going two for the ground. Really strong. Yeah, definitely. On two he's going really for the strong. melee attacks rather than the um, 
rather than the missile attacks. So I wonder if that's a miss or if you want to go with Ling Hydra. He's canceling the third, which is really good. Oh, will he get it? Though? I'm not sure. My... I don't think he will no, get it. No, he's not gonna get it, but he's, he's gonna. You'll see. He's gonna get some little run in there. He gets some bay links. He's gonna take out the Z lots, and then he's gonna be free. In because Alchemix is it's shown himself to be really strong in two base already, getting a lot of units. And now he's already got three up. He's mining for all of them. He's gonna run that over the third base. He knows he's there now. Or I could be completely wrong. I think you are. <laughs> I'm not sure what Slayer is doing now. Adding on more gateways there. So this is this a seven gate plus Robo? It I'm looks maybe so. I'm not sure to be honest. He's gonna get. Oh, it's gonna be now, blink. Though. All right, it's gonna be blink all in. Wow. Yeah, I know. I wonder if you clicked on it. Well, apparently it seems to be some graphic issues, but this one where I'm showing now, that is the robotic way. He's getting some immortals, still uh, zero, zero, 001 upgraded. Robotics bay, uh, being added on as well, so... We'll see. Spire coming down, like always now, by Alchemic. He's morphing up a lot of links because he's yep. gonna morph this into bay links, of course. He's moving in now. I think he's gonna go for it. But he Does he have, have a some bailing nest, nest though? He doesn't uh, even not, have a bailing uh, nest. Not what I've seen, no. No, he doesn't. Then it will so be really he's hard going to go. all in with the links this time. He, I think he forgot it. He always gets it. He's got yeah. some rough shit there, but... It's not gonna do it, I think. Or... Because he's walling off really good with the uh, wall on. Yeah. I think he wasted so many force fields there, though. Oh, yeah. I think he should just have backed up to his ramp there, so he could put down three rather than wasting like six or Well, he or still seven. got some force left in them, uh, sentries, as you can yeah. see right now. And yeah, they're nice so well there, protected though. by the stalkers, the sentries too, the roaches yeah. aren't getting to him. Yeah. This yeah, Alchemic will definitely not uh, A really good here. job by Slay right now, yeah. how he's doing the wall off with the sentries. Really good job. Yeah. He needs to get the mutas <laughs> really quick now. He's definitely not ready for the muta transition though. Yeah, the mutas are already up in the sky. We got about six mutas. Seven, eight, and some more coming moments. in. The links will keep him busy on the ground, but you never know, you know. Yep. Wow. I mean, he scouted that it was a robotics bay, but what Slave is doing now actually is going for blink all in from uh, seven gates, so that's not def definitely not good. Or, I mean, mirrors are definitely not good, gonna be good against this. Well, look at this. I think Akamek is going to push his army to the left side of the map and move in to the right in his uh, third, it is, with the Mutas. Look at this. The yeah, Mutas are in. Oh. He will pull back his main, his stalkers and everything, and he will move in with links yep. and a few roaches as well. But he's not even reacting. Look at him. Yeah, that's a massive cloud of Mutas. Oh, wow. He's not yeah, yeah, he's he, recalled, he's but that's not going to yeah. do it. He lost he's not going to get even one Muta, I think. Oh, the blink there. He got he one didn't Muta. Have... Yeah. Here comes the main push from Alchemic yeah. with his ground unit. He's this going so for the fourth nice right away, look Alchemic at this. Here. Not the third, sorry. Oh, he's not even going for it. Why did he stop? Why did he stop? Go, go, go. Don't stop. But is, does he have a Bane Nest yet? Nope. No Bane Nest yet. He could walk right he in don't, there. He don't need the Bane Links. The links are purely for the Immortals. Yeah, but it would take to get around there. That's pretty easy. And also for the Blink Stalkers. I mean, Stalkers are so crap against the... Uh, Massive links. Oh, Once yeah, you get to the surround, they're just gonna fall. But like, he's, in one he's second. been protecting his uh, immortals. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Look at this. So far. Look at the look at here. It. Gonna be so exposed. Oh yeah. The third is going down by the Yuda. They're just picking out yeah. the workers. So look at it. And uh, Arkansas. And all the links here too. are protecting oh. it. So oh. But yeah, but it's getting closer. It's gonna pick the links out. You need to protect them with the uh, mutas and yep. the closest. Oh, pretty the mutas. The mutas. So go back with them. So you need to Yeah. It definitely not one of the he's not shooting the, he's not shooting but I think the, it's enough, the it's gonna be enough. Oh I yeah, think gonna have enough might here. be. The he's massive Mutas push. No. Yeah, he's getting more. It's definitely gonna be enough, but he wanna focus down the Colossus though. I mean, why isn't he focused down the Colossus with the Mutas? Yeah, to take out the Colossus, the Lynx can just run in, the one that he's morphing yep. up right now. But he wanna take that out the Colossus first, that. that's totally fine. He wanna keep his uh, I mean, it's just Mutas. so many Mutas. It's so many Mutas. He could take out the Colossus now. Here we go, one goes The Colossus down. isn't gonna help anything. The, 
third base will definitely be shut down. I mean, that's not even a worker mining here. Uh, here goes the third. The third one is going down for yeah. a Slayer. He probably just uh, going to take down the pylons there, powering the gateway, so he can't move. Uh, like, yeah, it's down. Well, so you more. know, yeah. I, I gotta say it. Like, maybe it's overhand. You know, maybe Slayer's got some moves out of his sleeve. But uh, Alchemic is making yeah. an all kill. Here. I think this we're is gonna a have an all kill. total run over by Alchemic style. Oh, but you gotta, you gotta focus down the Colossus mean. It's only has like it has five helps. Really, Alchemic, get it. There we go. It finally. It. <laughs> yeah, you got the immortal there too. Wow. But I mean, uh, you gotta give the it units. I tab. mean, th this There's is just three a stalkers big versus six the links and, and twenty-four mutilists. This is over by now. This is definitely gonna be over. There's nothing. I mean, seven stalkers. What is they? What are they going to do against 24 Water. meters? 31 meters. GG. It's gonna be all kill. Oh yeah. And there's Mutas taking so strong. out the second. Oh yeah. It's a all wow. win for Alchemy again. You just gotta take your hats off. Yeah. Well, he's he still staying still. He could move into the second. At this point, I need to get I mean, look, at the, anyway, look at the supply. Yeah. It's, gonna, it's 190. He's 15. playing around. His gateways are down. No yeah. problem. I mean, you never want to take your Mutalisk into a clump of stalkers anyway. But now he knows he's one already. He's just waiting for the DG. For the Checking out the power balance. There will be no more unit production for Slayer. This is GG and should have been already for quite some time ago. Slayer's probably just Link shaking his head, being like. Crap. There is GG. the all win going for the all kill. by Alcat. Make and before we go offline, I'm gonna drag our comic down for a couple of Hurrah. words. Yeah, well, I want our comic to come in for an interview. This is his second plan, whatever, and he doesn't all win. I'm shaking up and tell him to go down, right? Yeah, no, okay, I'm sorry about User that. No, Sneaky, we... yeah, sure. We want our comic here. User joined your channel. User was yeah. Your never end. Uh, so is it over? Hoorah, Alchemic! A big uh, applause for Alchemic. Our um, well, come back. The lost son who came back. Alchemic, who actually gets an all win here. Oh, so it's over. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us. Tell so us. So confident. What's, like, what's oh, the secret? What's that all? Oh. Yeah. So <laughs> you you won the whole thing. <laughs> Hoorah! Let us know, Alchemic. What was your thoughts? What were you thinking all the time? I mean, coming up against one player against another player. I mean, these guys aren't amateurs either, you know. That they weren't very good. Oh. There. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bitch, please. Oh. Uh. Okay, no, I'm but sorry. seriously, these guys, these guys were playing seriously and they were pretty good. I mean, yeah. they would definitely have beaten easily a couple of our members without a bigger effort. But you helped strong Alchemic, you went the whole way and you kept control during out the game. We didn't even see nerves or that you were pushed too hard or anything. I mean, what's your words? I mean, they weren't uh, that, you know, it wasn't that obvious when you had your moves worked out well. Well, the first game, um, the ZVZ on Mary Gorant was actually pretty close like i i was behind at the beginning um but well some hosts some hosts are good in it so i mean were, were you nervous or, like, uh, throughout the way or something like that i mean you didn't know what you were gonna expect or anything like that and i mean you're saying that we weren't too hard i know in italy and you it was a little hard against them you just were doing the correct builds all the time and hats off for that really uh, what was the question? Well, I don't think it was a question, to be honest. I think it was oh. more of a statement. Right, good then. job. Thank you. Thank you. That wasn't a very good interview, but... Sorry, I got... <laughs> I this. know. It's <laughs> just the second time I'm doing this, so... Uh, <gasps> nice. I got I'm thinking I got CNN here, you know? Oh, wow. Anyway... <laughs> anyway... Let's conclude this broadcast and say that <laughs> this was very well played by everyone who participated. Oh, yeah. Alchemic, and I can also if you're not a member of Tor, please check in, check out us at www.tor.net, become a full member, and yeah, well, Definitely. see you next time. All Never I can say is that 
everyone can should be really proud of Falcon Mix. Yeah. Performance today. Neva gonna go uh, to party now. I don't have time for this. See good ya. night. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Neva, check it out. User disconnected from okay, the channel. Okay. Sound muted. Now he knows. Now he knows. <laughs> he now he can get in. He locked himself. He can. Okay, so this is weird. Oh, how did he? Yeah. How did he do oh, that? Oh, nice, nice micro, micro on the <laughs> Look at Setting that. Them at the very last second. Oh, oh this is. Picking up the injured marine. <laughs> And it's working, he didn't lose any, so... Oh, this is worse. Oh no, oh, he's, he's going to play. He's going to run! Or he's going to attack the spot. The spot is so oh. strong for tanks. I forgot all about that. But he doesn't have vision, he'll have to scan. I'm pretty sure. I think he has to scan to see it. Oh, he's got the medevac. Never mind. Uh, Most is here to save the day. Most likely. Or not. Oh, he forgot to repair the bomb of the Oh, the PV. I think this is the point of no return. Yeah, he's going for a few roaches and I'm popping on the main mineral line. Oh, that's and sneaky. That's a very good wall. Uh, no, that looks like a wall that Paddy would do. Yes, which is totally not shot for a Zerlix, which is Why? What is Wait, he doing? What? Is Dude? he getting really? a third base? Are you really? Really? Does he really go to be this greedy? Oh, oh, oh he yes. takes a third. He takes a 